In this video, we're going to set the actual position of a SICK Ethernet IP encoder talking to a Modicon M340. We're going to use explicit messaging using the set attribute single command mode. If we take a look at the actual manual on setting explicit messaging uh, out of a BMX NOC module, we can see that we have to use a command called the data exchange command using an M340. In this command here, we're going to set the IP address that we're going to send the actual explicit message to, and it's a very explicit uh, string message that we have to send. Uh, the help can help you do this, but in this case, it's ADDM, brackets, and then it's a string, so we have the single quotes, rack module channel, 010 is in the case we have here, and then the squiggly brackets, the IP address, and squiggly brackets, then we have to do unconnected unc.cip and then the uh, end of squiggly brackets here. Or actually, that's a regular bracket. So that's the IP format for it. And then for the instruction here, the type is always one. And then we have to set two structures, or actually arrays. In this case, we're setting an array of five. You can see here in the help, it actually shows doing an array of three. We do five in this one because we're actually sending the data position that we want it to be sent to. So there's two extra words in it. So we have this format with two extra words in it in the array. And then the management buffer is always going to be four words, zero to three. So it's an array of int, and it's, and it's four words. So we come here, and we take a look at the actual management parameters. It's actually pretty simple. The first two words in the array here are read only so we don't need to do anything with that and then the third word is actually the timeout of the block itself one would be 100 milliseconds two would be 200 milliseconds for the timeout and then the last parameter in the management parameter is the number of bytes to send in the example given in the manual it was just getting a value so they used eight in our example we're going to set with 12 because if you take a look at our example here we're going to have a timeout of two in the data buffer. We're going to stuff some registers using a move command. So we're going to set the timeout to be two for 200 milliseconds. And then we need to send 12 bytes. In our example, we're setting attributes uh, into the management buffer. So if we look at that, it's the number of bytes being sent in the data buffer, which is this guy right here. So we can see this is two bytes, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So those are the 12 bytes we're actually sending. And then when we get into the data buffer, we can actually see that this is the uh, commanding for the actual CIP transaction. And because this example was done with get uh, attribute, we're actually going to set attributes. Some of the parameters are different. So if we look at this, we're putting it in hexadecimal. So the high order byte is three words that we're actually going to be reading or sending as part of the instruction. And those are the next three words, one, two, three. And then this is the command, and get attribute single is uh, 30, or actually 0e for that. And for a uh, set attribute, you can see here that we're going to send the same command here with the 16 pound 03 for number of words. And for set attribute single, the command is 10, so we change that. And then the next word is. Uh, the low byte is going to be pretty constant, so we're going to have 20 for the logical class segment and 23 for the class assembly object. So we're stuffing the word 16 pound 2320 and putting it into the uh, second word of the data to send. And this information needs to be given as part of whatever you're going to get in the attribute from. You need to do the class assembly in the high order and the segment in the low byte. And then we move for this command we got it right out of the rockwell or the sick instructions for this the instance is one an instance segment is 24 so we stuff 16 pound 0124 on that word and then the next one is for this command for sick ethernet ip encoder we're given that the attribute is 13 and the segment is 30 so we stuff in a 16 pound 1330 here and then the extra two bytes is going to be the low byte of the dint for the position preset. In this case, we're going to set the encoder to 300 into here. And the high byte, we're leaving at zero. So you can see the instruction. Here's the data to send. 
and here's the actual management buffer itself. So we have them organized right here. And when we execute a data exchange, we just want to have it to be a trigger. So we're going through an R trigger, which is a positive pulse transition for the digital here. So I'm going to come in here, and my system is already built. I'm going to do a PLC, connect. And I am connected as equal, so I already downloaded here. And I'm going to come over to my table, where I can actually put in here. Let me close this guy out. Tile him. Stuff in the proper words in here. And if I come to this trigger here, and I'm going to turn that on. Right now, my position value of my encoder is I rotate this. You can see it changing positions as I'm rotating it. And then I'm going to come here and I'll move that to a zero, change it back to a one. You can see the position value changed to 300. I'm going to change it again, actually go to the other direction. And I'll come here, change it back to a zero, change it to a one, and it goes there. If I want to change it to a different preset, I simply come into this register here and change that, and that works. Thank you.